Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create layers or use layers to look, make it look like a, 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 a something in an image is kind of like weaving between an element or gives it kind of like that depth and what have you. You'll have seen that from the thumbnail in this video, but let's dive into Canva and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and how you can create this layers in Canva. So you'll see, this is the image that I've um, got. And this is actually made up of the dancer and the layer. And you might be eagle eyed and have seen exactly how I've done that already. But what we're going to do is I'm going to create that for you directly here. So I'm going to come over to my photographs and I'm going to choose the, I just put in a dancer. I thought it'd be really good to show a dancer and kind of give him that kind of like looking like he's leaping through the air. So what we've got is we've got the dancer and if you, come up to effects and then click on remove background and that's going to remove all the elements in the background um, which is kind of what you want so even if you want the elements in the background there you can add that later on as a different layer and I'm going to show you that later on in this video okay so we've got that our dancer there now and I'm going to copy that and we're going to just trim up the edges here as well so it'll allow us to it'll be easier to control the size of this so as we control the size of that let's put him right at bang in the middle there next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come along to our elements and I just searched for swish and it was just this kind of element here that I thought would look good kind of going round the dancer to kind of give him that kind of spiral and almost create movement there as well. And then once we've got the element on there, I'm going to click paste because this is where we had our dancer from before. I'm just going to crop in there again as well. Now we're going to size that up to the right size. The other alternative, I think, what you can do is you can come down and you can highlight your dancer where you've resized it, copy and paste, so you don't have to try and match. So all I've done is just copy and paste there. Now, with that top layer selected, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually crop the image but you'll see when you're doing that, you get these little areas here. So if I want to, I could have him go around there, but I want his head to show this side. So I'm going to copy and paste that layer again. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, but then also go up there so that the this new layer just covers his head and what have you then what I'm going to want to do is probably make that slightly larger and move that over this way so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that layer again where we've got you can see it on there it looks kind of weird where I move it and I'm going to copy and paste the layer again and I'm going to come in here and then oops I want to that's the layer I want to copy and paste so I want to copy and paste that layer line it up and have that come in nope <laughs> as you see it's getting these layers correct that you want but there that's actually done what I need it to do so you can see he's got his hands behind and it makes it look like he's almost jumping or leaping through here you you can see it there and what all it is is you creating these like blocks and lining them up and hiding behind so you can see there if I make that one smaller 
so it's just what it's doing is it's creating multiple layers now when you first try this technique it might take you a little bit of a time to kind of get your head around this but once you do you can come up with some more creative ideas this one's the one where I just I just added the words dance um, to it and I've then done exactly the same as what I've done above and I've just created these different elements that all sit at different if you imagine it like a cake and you want to see different parts of the cake you just have to slide the elements to the side to to do that um, this element this is where I did a hack on how to use um, what are they called frames in Canva if you want to watch that video I'll link that down below but that's it for today if you want to ask any other questions or you want any further clarification on what I've shown you there today don't forget to click like and subscribe down below but also let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thank you very much and bye for now